Naraka Blade Point just went free to play and it's the right time to tweak some settings and try to get the best performance and have better frames without losing that much visual quality to the game, no matter what rig you are running. I'm using an AMD GPU, but you can apply same settings with some changes that I'll be talking about later on this video with an NVIDIA GPU. This game doesn't support DirectX 12 yet, so we're going to be doing this only with DirectX 11. Render scale should always be at max, since it lowers resolution, but it gives you more frames in case you are running this on a low-end PC. I recommend keeping it at 100. Leave display mode at full screen to get the best frames and reduce input lag. Resolution. Put it at your native resolution monitor. Mine is a 1080p resolution and 144Hz. Max frame rate, set it at unlimited. For filters, it's just a preference, you just choose what you're comfortable with. I personally like shimmering water. HDR, we can't use. And V-Sync should be off. Anti-aliasing is a technique that smooths out the edges seen in images. It makes them appear less blurred and blends colors to make visuals look natural. Here SMAA gives the best look without losing any performance compared to off, so keep it. Keep motion blur off, since it's gonna make your game blurry when you are in motion. NVIDIA graphics enhancement costs you around 2% when on, so keep it off. We can't use NVIDIA reflex and highlights since we are on AMD. So let's go ahead and see some graphics starting with modeling accuracy. This feature increases object details. On lowest settings, some parts of the grass are missing, and objects will render as you get closer to them. On low, only objects render as you get closer. Medium and high gives the best visuals, but looking to performance going from lowest to low, you lose around 10%, to medium or high another 7%. I recommend that you keep it at lowest since it gives best performance and visibility, especially when you are fighting. Tessellation makes the surfaces and edges of objects smoother, but I have noticed any differences from off to high, and it doesn't seem to affect performance either, so keep it on high. Effects enhances the visuals of explosions and projectiles. I tried the cannon and the flame bringer to see different visual effects, but I couldn't notice anything visually. On the other hand, performance are affected drastically, so I recommend that you keep it on low because you still lose performance going from low to highest settings without visual enhancement. Next, texture. It increases the overall map detail. From lowest to medium, it doesn't seem to cost that much performance. But if you go for high or highest, you're going to notice a big drop of FPS. And as for effects, no big enhancement in visual quality, which is unfortunate. So, I recommend it to keep it at medium. Rising shadow value will make it appear clearer and sharper, but it's a very demanding feature. It costs around 3-5% between each value, with a total of 13% from lowest to highest. I recommended going for low if you hate the look of lowest, otherwise, for maximum performance, leave it at lowest. Rising shadow value will make it appear clearer and sharper, but it's a very demanding feature. It costs around 3-5% between each value, with a total of 13% from lowest to highest. I recommended going for low if you hate the look of lowest, otherwise, for maximum performance, leave it at lowest. Volumetric clouds gives more details to the cloud, making them look better. Lowest value here gives the best performance which I recommend staying at since no one really gonna look at the skies while playing. Looking at performance, this feature is quite demanding. Ambient occlusion softens shadows on nearby surfaces, and since we set modeling accuracy to lowest and the grass is no longer appearing, this feature becomes without purpose, so set it to off. Next, screen space reflections alters the quality of light reflections from certain surfaces like ground or seawater. I recommend putting this at low since the higher values cost a lot of performance, and it slightly gives the feel of reflection but you can set it to medium if you want the better look of it. Anti-aliasing makes edges smoother. If we take as example this tree branch, on low they seem a little bit rough, and on medium to high they are a bit smoother. But looking to performance, if we go from low to medium, it costs up to 5% and 1% to high. And there is really not a big difference between medium and low. So I recommend staying on low to have best performance. 
Post-processing improves the game's visual aspect and download the map you are playing at, but I can't see any graphic quality changes from changing this value or any frames drops. So keep it at high, and if it happens and you see any drops in frames, try to lower it. For me, it runs perfectly. And lastly, light will affect the illumination of the game. Going from low to high, the visuals are much better. We can easily notice how this torch light is projected on the ground, walls, and objects. But looking to performance, this setting goes hard on FPS. We lost almost 60 frames from low to highest in this scene. I recommend keeping it on low for best frames. These are all the settings that helped boost FPS that you can try to see how much difference it makes for you than it did for me. With these settings, you can execute more combos easily than you did before, so try them out. And here is a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the highest and optimized settings. Clearly, a huge FPS gap. And something that I want to talk about in this game that I noticed. You can play this game with only 4 gigs of VRAM, without any problems. Some of the settings are not worthy at all to put in, and some of them are much more FPS consuming without any visuals offered. And if you pay attention to the frame time graph, you can see that it is more stable on optimized than highest when some effects are loaded and in certain areas. That allows you to do combos faster, which helps you win more fights. And that's it. If you found this video helpful and want to find out the best optimized and comparison between settings, you can also watch this video too. Thanks for watching.